For example, my dad would say, the love of money is the root of all evil. And the other dad would say, the lack of money is the root of all evil. One dad always said, I cannot afford it. The other dad taught me to ask the question, how can I afford it? So both said almost the same things, but they had completely different ways of thinking. One dad was of the opinion that the rich should pay more tax to take care of the less fortunate. And according to the other dad, the current tax encouraged people not to produce results. One dad advised me to study hard so that I can find a good company to work for. The other dad asked me to study hard so that I can buy a good company. One dad said, I'm not rich because I have kids. The other said, I must be rich because I have kids. One dad encouraged us to talk about money at the dinner table. The other forbade the discussion of money. Whereas one dad said, home ownership is the largest investment and the largest asset in life. The other dad said, the house you own is your largest liability. One dad believed that the company or the government should take care of you. He was always concerned about company benefits and pay rises and job stability. The other dad was thinking about total financial self-reliance. He strongly believed in being financially competent and spoke out against the entitlement mentality. One dad struggled to save a few dollars. The other created investments. One dad taught me how to write an excellent resume to find a good job. The other taught me how to write strong business and financial plans so that I can create jobs for others. I'm fortunate. I had two dads. I was able to learn that different beliefs can produce different results in people's lives. For example, my poor dad always said, I will never be rich, and that became a reality for him. My rich dad, on the other hand, always said, I am a rich person and rich people don't act this way. Even though he was broke at that time due to a financial setback, he never had a poverty mentality. He said, being broke is temporary, but being poor is permanent. My poor dad always said, I'm not interested in money, or money does not matter. My rich dad always said, money is power. As a young boy, I realized the power our beliefs can have. I noticed that my poor dad was poor, not because of the money he earned, but because of his beliefs and actions. I became strongly aware of my beliefs and was careful about the beliefs I chose to adopt as my own. Both strongly believed in education and learning, yet they were different. Which dad should I be following? One dad wanted me to study hard and get a good job to work for money. He encouraged me to be a professional, an attorney or an accountant. The other encouraged me to study to be rich, to understand how money works and how to make money work hard for me. When I was nine years old, I decided to listen to my rich dad, even though my real dad had all the university degrees. Robert Frost is my favorite poet, and my favorite poem is The Road Not Taken. I use its lessons almost daily. Here's an extract from his poem. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Once I made up my mind about who I wanted to listen to, my education about money began. Since I was nine years old, I started to learn from my rich dad the six main lessons that he taught me again and again. So, don't, don't miss out on this one, and we'll see you in KL and Singapore soon. Thanks.